Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss about antiretroviral drugs and their mechanism of action. I have already discussed about the fusion inhibitors. Here the video link on the upper right corner of your screen. So now we will discuss about the rest of the antiretroviral drugs. Here you can see I have drawn a virus and a human cell. As soon as virus envelope fuses with our cell membrane, the core protein enters into the cytoplasm with its contents. The core protein dissolves after entering into the cytoplasm and viral RNA comes out with other enzymes. As I have already discussed that core protein contains two single-stranded RNA, reverse transcriptase, integrase and protease. The first enzyme which comes into action is reverse transcriptase which is a double action enzyme. It has two functional domains. One is polymerase domain and other is RNase H domain. It is called reverse transcriptase because it can generate complementary DNA from RNA template. This process is called reverse transcription. Let's see how it works. Polymerase domain reads the RNA and makes complementary DNA. It catches nucleotides or nucleosides and add one by one. Once the complementary DNA is made, second domain comes into action and starts destroying the original template. This is a kind of unfaithful activity in microscopic level. So the RNA is destroyed by RNA's H domain and what is left there? The single standard DNA. This auto destruction is required because another enzyme comes into action, read the DNA and makes complementary DNA which actually form a double standard DNA. Here this is DNA in the nucleus. Now this double standard DNA is transferred to our nucleus. Next enzyme comes into action is integrase. It cuts the human DNA in multiple points and integrates viral DNA into our DNA and then stitch it. Now this human DNA is called proviral DNA. Once the viral DNA integrated in human DNA, it remains forever. Still now, no drugs can remove it from human DNA. That's why it is said that once you are HIV positive, you are always HIV positive. Now let's discuss about different drugs acting on different steps. In the previous video, I have already discussed about Maraviroc and Enfuvitide. So let's discuss about other antiretroviral drugs. As you know, the basic structure of nucleotide is a phosphate, a sugar unit and a nitrogenous base. Now look here, every nucleotide or nucleoside has a hydroxyl unit here. This hydroxyl part gets attached with the next nucleoside or nucleotide with the help of this reverse transcriptase enzyme. So this hydroxyl point is very important. Now suppose one nucleotide is added which don't have this hydroxyl point. What will happen then? Okay, this is pretty simple. The elongation of complementary DNA chain will stop and eventually the whole process will stop. So scientists made a drug which is structurally similar to nucleoside or nucleotide but they lack this hydroxyl point. It is an interesting technique to fool the virus. During the complementary DNA formation process, this drug molecule is captured by the reverse transcriptase enzyme and added to the chain. But they don't have hydroxyl point, so the process will automatically stop. This group of drugs are called nucleoside or nucleotide reverse transcriptase inhibitor. They include zidobudin, lamibudin, didanosine, tenofovir, etc. etc. Next group of drugs block or deactivate the polymerase domain of reverse transcriptase enzyme. This group of drugs are called non-nucleoside reverse transcriptase inhibitors. As there is no involvement of nucleoside or nucleotide, that's why it is called non-nucleoside or non-nucleotide. Few examples like nevirapine and ifavirenz. Next group of drug blocks the integrase enzyme. So it prevents the viral DNA to integrate in our DNA molecule. They are called integrase inhibitor. Reltagravir is an integrase inhibitor. Now here 
in this proviral dna three important genes are present they are gag pol and env genes they help in the formation of messenger rna from this messenger rna some important polyproteins are made these polyproteins are functionally inactive to become active they need to be cut into pieces so a cutter enzyme is needed for that this cutter enzyme is called protease so without this protease enzyme viral protein will be non functional now there are groups of drugs which can inhibit the protease enzyme they are called protease inhibitors here are few examples of protease inhibitors like darunavir lopinavir endinavir and ritonavir that's all guys if you have enjoyed this video please like comment and share and don't forget to subscribe thank you